Our next muscular strength and endurance exercise is the famous press up. Okay, so this one's gonna be working the chest, the back of the arms, and also the core. We're gonna give you some variations and progressions that challenge the core just that little bit more. But first of all, we're gonna start off at the first level, which is a half press up or a press up on your knees. Start off with the hands flat on the mat. You're gonna screw the hands into the floor then with your wrists, elbows and shoulders all aligned, knees in line with the ankles, feet on the floor, drop one, two, back one, two, drop one, two, back one, two. So you're just lowering the body down and through and back up. Guys are gonna give you a demo so that I can talk through the movement whilst they're doing the exercise. So half press up or press up on your knees is the exercise. Slow controlled movement, Knees are in line with the hips. As you lower down, you're just gonna lower down. One, two, one, two, good. One, two, one, two. So you're lowering through the torso, making sure that you're pushing back up through the chest. And although you're not locking the elbow, you wanna make sure that you squeeze the tricep at the top of the movement and you're braced through the core. As you push back up through the floor, you're just gonna force out that breath and recover at the top of the movement. So half press up or press up on your knees. Great work, guys. Our next muscular strength for endurance is the progression of the half press up or the press up on your knees into a full press up. So during your program, you could start with the full press up and you could regress back to that half press up. So with this one, many people get this wrong. They go into this very relaxed, body movements, but you really want to lock in all of your joints and the muscles that you're recruiting to do this exercise. Your full press up. Place the hands, screw them into the floor. Wrists, elbows, shoulders all aligned. Ankles together, tighten that body. Engage the body, parallel to the floor, head parallel to the floor. Lower, the elbows will go behind you slightly and power back up. Lower to the floor, squeeze the muscles at the top. It's quite a pronounced, exaggerated movement. That's how we need our press ups to be. We're not gonna keep the muscles too relaxed. We want to activate the muscles for you to get the best out of this program. So guys, full press up, let's see them. No press up competition, so know how competitive you are into your press up. As you can see, nice strict parallel movement, slow and controlled. One, two, one, two. So you just force out that breath as you're pushing back up. We wanna contract and train the muscle, the chest muscle and the triceps as well. It's also a great core exercise. As you can see there, the regression of that might be the half press up. That's our press up. Well done. Next up is a press up with a rotation. So we've added this one in for an additional challenge to the core, shoulder strength, shoulder mobility, and it also challenges through the range of movement through when you take it into a hip movement as well. Let me go through this. So you're gonna come down into your press up position. I exaggerate this move and say tighten those muscles, but it's so important for you to do this to get the most from your program. With this, you're gonna open your stance of where your feet are, because they're gonna need to move. As you rotate the feet, you bring the arm up high and keep the hips up high as well. You slowly come back into your press up, power up, squeeze the muscles, rotate, reach high, my hips are high, hop back down, press up, is the rotation press up. The rotation press up or press up rotation in your programming. So let's see a demonstration of that one just so that I can go through the points with you and you get to see what that one looks like. Strong body position, slowly lowering down, really activating through the chest. And as you can see, the rotation as you lower back down, the hips are high. The hips are staying high and the arm is reaching high towards the ceiling. One more time, through that one. 
Great regression there, George. So George has popped back into the half press up and is reaching high. James has got the full press up. Remember, it's your program. You can start this however you decide. You can start at a higher level and then drop it back down or mix them in. You wanna see how your progression, that's gonna really aid your motivation. Chest, triceps, core, press up rotation. Our next press up movement is a Spider-Man press up or an elbow to knee press up. So the added benefits of this one is it's gonna challenge the core a little bit more whilst you're actually working on your hip mobility. Let me demonstrate for you. So you're gonna pop down into that press up position. Tighten that body, engage the muscles that you're looking to work. We lower and at the same time, the knee comes to the same side elbow, one, two. One, two, one, two. Press up knee to elbow or Spider-Man press up. Let's go, let's see your best Spider-Man press up. Challenging a little bit more through the core. As you can see, shoulder stability is really key in this one. George has got a great variation there as she drops down. She's still bringing the knee in towards the elbow. James is powering through the floor, squeezing the muscles at the top. Look how high his knee is coming. It's a challenging move. If you're progressing to this, you've got a really, really good strength through the chest and through the front of the shoulder and the triceps. That's great, so that's our Spider-Man or elbow to knee press up.